back to AET and welcome back to another video where today we are going to test our new Stage 2 Plus intercooler. Behind me we have the Voodoo car which has been in many pieces for the last uh, the last few months and we managed to get it all back together with our VT330R package on and we're going to put the what we're calling a Stage 2 Plus intercooler through its paces at Stage 3 with you know sort of a, a reasonable boost pressure so we're running at 1.8 bar um, and we're hoping to hit 300 wheels. If you haven't seen it already, albeit yes, we're marketing this as a Stage 2 Plus cooler, but we felt like if we put it onto the Voodoo car, do some back-to-back -back testing, do some uh, charge temperature testing using the data logger. Albeit a little bit crude, using our infrared gun, we are gonna test from the hot side going into the intercooler and the cold side coming out from the outside um, during a pull, but we can then also compare that data to the charge temperatures on our Forscan data logger, uh, and then we'll look at the power over a period of six pulls. So we're gonna do loaded, loaded dyno runs probably 20 seconds long which is really really heavily loaded and quite a long pull for a fourth gear pull um, and we'll compare where it's at and, and how much heat we generate versus what's coming out of uh, the cold side and into the engine. Okay, so yesterday we conducted the whole test. I'm sorry that it's uh, taken me this long for Willem to tie me down and uh, sign off what we've done. So behind me is the graph. The car did actually manage 310 at the wheels, um, but the graph wasn't as tidy as this one, which is 305 uh, horsepower at the wheels or at the hubs and 300 foot-pounds of torque. So we did see a little bit more than that, but we felt that this was the best graph over a six uh, dyno runs, fully loaded, 20 second runs at um, back to back. So straight one after another, which is gonna create the most heat. And you're probably never gonna replicate that on the road or on track because you're not gonna go full throttle in fourth gear, hit the limiter, full throttle in fourth gear again, full throttle for a, for a long period of time. You've always got a little bit of uh, longer straight or you come off the throttle um, on the on the you know motorway, back roads or whatever, and it gives enough time for it to recover. Well, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to push it as far as we possibly could, which is why we did the full six back-to-back -back runs. So that's the graph behind me, which we might be able to um, get a little bit of a close-up of. To my left here is the... Um, data logs so obviously when we're data logging we're looking at many many variables um, whether it's throttle position boost pressure fuel rail pressure ignition timing all that sort of stuff but for this test the, the, the most important thing that we wanted to see was how the charge temperatures reacted uh, in comparison to ambient temperature which tells you uh, overall how good the intercooler is if you're doing back-to-back -back pulls and the charge temperatures start to skyrocket it's because it's overheated and essentially you've heat soaked the intercooler and it can't recover quick enough between the pulls so it'll just continue to climb and climb and climb now what we actually found was we had a eight degrees ambient temperature in the cell um, across the first couple of pulls we only raised it up by about two degrees above ambient so that means the intercooler was working really really efficiently over four 40 seconds of absolute flat out driving which is fantastic in its own right but over a six back-to-back -back pulls we actually found that it's only gone up by five degrees so to go from an ambient temperature of eight degrees in the cell which is very cold anyway to actually only get five degrees above that is such a good result that actually this cooler could be sold as a stage three it people will buy it and will use it on stage three and you have to understand our car is you know running to the absolute utmost that we can possibly run it to before going beyond what we'd give to a customer so for for us to re see those results that that cooler 
could quite easily be used as stage three consistently whether you're using it on track, uh, drag strip or on the road but we're still going to continue to market it as a stage two plus because of its mid height so for anybody who's looking to go stage two with us prior to a stage three build usually you'd buy a stage two voodoo or you'd have to invest into a stage three air tech cooler um, prior to um, the build of, and actually putting a turbo on you don't have to do that anymore if you decided to go with a voodoo stage two plus we're confident in saying that that will support your vt330r or equivalent uh, stage three turbo when you decide to move over to that so if we can get a little bit closer to this or if will can uh, pop up the, the graph and stuff over here somewhere he's pointing at me behind the camera over here we'll pop up the graph we'll pop up this graph uh, off the data logs and hopefully we can get something a little bit more in depth if people want to see more about data logging and want to understand how it works what's required give us a shout comment below uh, and subscribe to the channel and when I get a moment I will do a full video on just data logging because uh, that's probably something that you can toy with at home and nobody's asking you to tune anything but it's interesting to sit and look at how your hardware parts are working based around what the data logs are telling you and it's it's not black magic it's not rocket science it just takes time to learn and some gentle uh, advice on what you should be looking at and how it should perform so thank you for watching the video as soon as we get back from the Christmas break and uh, things are a little bit less hectic we're gonna do more and more of this so we do want your suggestions we do want to know what you guys want to see uh, the stage 2 plus intercooler is live now on the web store it's in stock we'll drop a link below uh, any more questions about it feel free to drop the, uh, the questions into the comments and one of us will get back to you whether it's me or will or one of the other guys in the team um, hope everybody's had a great Christmas if we don't see you thank you for your support throughout the year and we will catch up next year